We have one day to build our home sauna and get it fully functional. You read through all the instructions? Uh, no. Skimmed. skimmed. Hmm. He skimmed through them. Are we professionals? <laughs> Not even close. How many people are Well, it's not big, but. Four snugglers. Yeah. <laughs> Snuggling wipes. Four close inside. friends. But we're excited to get it working. Milwaukee has a special place in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how many tries it takes. Let's see this really quick. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> What's up guys? It's been a minute since we've done mail time and a lot of very generous people have sent us things. I'm very excited to dig in and see what everybody sent us. You keep me wondering. Oh, what? Dude, Leo gets the coolest stuff. Oh my this gosh. is freaking awesome. Signs, awards, and more. RSP signs. Hmm. <laughs> what? This looks like a giant battery, but it's a freaking water bug. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Thank you. Come on. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Look at that. And this one's for Brandon, and I'm almost positive that it's literally just an image of iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's gonna love that. This is for you. Wow, monster truck. Look at that. Thanks, Scott. These are really cool tumblers and we really appreciate it. And Leo's gonna absolutely love the monster truck. A is for activist. Aww. Counting on community. Intersection allies. Oh, that's cute. We make room for all. Thank you, Anders. Appreciate these. Leo's gonna love these books. Oh boy. To Trent and Allie and Leo, love Grandma Terry. Homemade. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Is, yeah, and it's like a legit. No, hey, careful. You want to play with it? It's a blanket. That's no, big. No, daddy. It's daddy's blanket. No. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Just like the amount of time that goes into making stuff like this. Thanks, Terry. This is a book that my aunt shared with my son, and I thought Leo would love it. Merry Christmas from Samantha, the little yellow digger. Oh, cute. That's cute. <laughs> Leo's gonna love this. Mm -hmm. Dad. You wanna open it? Yeah. Say yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, pull out what's in there. Oh, it's a Cybertron. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Are you jealous? I'm so jealous. <laughs> we have the Rivian now, which the Rivian is cool, but I wish it was a Cybertruck. <laughs> Thank you for the little Cybertruck, John. I know Leo's gonna think that's so cool, and even if he doesn't, I think it's cool. Happy New Year to Trent, Allie, Joel, Little Leo, and Brandon. Stay warm and hang loose. Adam and Ellie. It's the freaking Ninja Turtles! Oh, that's your favorite. <laughs> Dude, and I wanted to be Michelangelo my whole life. <laughs> Monster truck. Monster truck? Monster truck. Cyber truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You got the whole gang, dude. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. These little booty warmers for Leo. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> City of Thicket. Nice. I will definitely get this to Joel. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. It's a Year supply of milk bones for Frank and Lika. They're both very cute, happy dogs from Christine. Oh, Christine, thank you. That's great. Thank you so much. No one ever thinks of Frank and Lika. <laughs> Ooh. It's a little family of dogs, and it has me, Allie, Leo, Joel, Frank, and Lika. Oh, that's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> I can't wait to put this on our tree next year. I know a lot of these uh, things that people have sent us were intended to be Christmas gifts, and some of them I think got held up at the post office or you know arrived like a couple days after Christmas or something, and we're just getting around to opening them now. So just know they'll get used next year. Thank you. 
largest oh box God. of Ferrero Rochers. Oh my gosh! Mm. So many coffee crisps. <laughs> and these amazing gifts are from Cheryl, so thank you very much, Cheryl. We really appreciate it. I made the stained glass for you Ooh. because you are about love. I'm excited. What is that? Cookies and cookies oh. and cookies. Oh my goodness. A full snack box. Like a survival kit. Yeah. A survival kit of snacks. Oh, that's cool. I love it. And they sent a little hook. A little suction Oh, cup. perfect. Memorial wind chimes. You'll always have my love. Oh, that's A book so of sweet. comfort for grief and loss. It's for your mom. That's really sweet. Oh. Hi, Nally. I'm so sorry for your loss. You are both such an inspiration to me. I enjoy your videos. They always make my day. I'm sending you thoughts and prayers with a few gifts to remember your mother. From Lisa. Lisa. Oh my gosh. <sighs> really appreciate you thinking of us. <gasps> People know the way to our hearts, dude. It does say with sympathy, but still, it is definitely the way to our hearts, like 100%. <laughs> so very sorry to hear the sad news of Allie's mother passing from ALS. Much love to everyone who is grieving Leslie's passing and to Russell, who must now go on without his loving wife. From Barbara in Tampa, Florida. Thank you, Barbara. That's cute. Thank you for the sweet words and uh, for these toys for Leo to play in the snow. He's definitely gonna love these. And I think that's uh, gonna do it for us for mail time. I just thank you so much to everybody, you know, who's sent us comments and, you know, messages and things and people that send packages, you know, we love you guys all very much, so. Thank you, I cannot wait to dig into all these delicious treats and use all the fun toys and read the books. And I know Leo and Allie feel the same way. Yeah. You wanna come up? Can you say thank you? Can you say thank you? Thank you. Say it to the camera, thank you. All right guys, I am absolutely starving right now and I'm about to grab myself a snack out of the fridge and today I'm eating some Cook Unity and Cook Unity is the sponsor of today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Cook Unity before, you are definitely missing out. Cook Unity is an amazing program where they ship meals to your door from chefs that have handcrafted these delicious recipes. These are award-winning chefs. All this stuff is super easy to make. You pop it in the microwave for like two to three minutes and you have an awesome culinary experience right at home. Today I'm eating the loco moco with steamed rice, and all you gotta do is peel up the plastic so that it can be vented, pop it in the microwave, warm it up, and you have a delicious treat. Cook Unity is a personalized meal subscription service for busy people who want to eat healthily but are overwhelmed by what that takes. Fill out a personalized meal plan to select your perfect variety of dishes and learn about the diverse and thoughtful recipes that each chef has created. All I've got to do is pop it in the microwave and warm it up. I don't have to shop for it. I don't have to plan the meals. I don't have to do all this decision making on what I'm going to make. I just grab something that looks delicious out of the fridge, heat it up, and I've never had a Cook Unity meal that didn't knock my socks off. Take the stress out of healthy eating and enjoy hot, fresh meals delivered right to your door. If you guys want to try Cook Unity right now, they're doing a special deal for our viewers. If you guys click the link in our description, or if you go to cookunity.com slash Trent and Allie, and you use code Trent and Allie, they will actually give you 50% off your first week of meals. That's 50% off your first week of meals if you use code Trent and Allie. So they're doing you guys a solid, and this stuff's amazing. Go ahead and check them out, and I wanted to say thanks again to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna go sit down and finish this meal. Today we have a very special delivery. We're gonna be doing something very fun. 
we have a big delivery. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but it's on its way up here right now, and we are actually going back into the basement. I know, I said that the basement was done. <laughs> We're gonna go do some organizing, and you guys will see what's about to unfold very soon. No, looking in here, it, it didn't look like... This is much smaller than I expected. Me too. It's nice. I pulled up and was like, hey, how big is this thing? Oh, it's massive. It's gonna be hanging out the back, he says. <laughs> And then the guy brings it out on the forklift, and I was like, "It's That's perfect." Oh yeah, wow! <laughs> Bear, what are you doing, Lisa? Hi. How many pieces are there? So many. More? Really? I think there's three more. Oh. Whoa. Hey, Brandon. Oh, what? Thank you to whoever sent that. That's awesome. <laughs> I should start using that. That's so funny. That's awesome. It's just literally iced coffee. With my name. Yeah. This is mine. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think, Trent? I think we're ready to get to work. Is this what you expected it to be? Yeah. Okay. What did you expect it to be? I haven't even seen what you ordered, so I don't know. Is it how big, how many people will hold? Four. Four. So that's a good size. Though. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be like the size of a closet. Okay. Okay. Well, it's not it's big. You're right. But four snugglers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Snuggling why four you Four close in friends. <laughs> yeah. Sit on each other's laps. <laughs> <laughs> it holds four. <laughs> We did want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has sent us cards and messages and flowers. Just so many of you have been sending us um, very kind words that we really appreciate so much. My dad is not here today, which kind of works out perfectly. I'm washing the sheets on his bed and we can kind of throw some stuff in here while we are setting up the sauna. But the bedroom has been working out great, which I'm very excited about. <sighs> and it's actually nice and warm down here which is another thing that we were worried about and has been wonderful. Today we are getting our sauna delivered and we're gonna install it and hopefully get it running. Basically need a 650 outlet. If you don't have that, you wanna do inventory for everything else you might not have and we can all go buy it at once. I don't think there's anything else that I need. You read through all the instructions? Uh, no. Skimmed. Hmm. He skimmed through them. Did you open the booklet at all? He did open it. I okay. watched it. Alright, that's good. I guess we've got to hurry and go to Home Depot. I foresaw this. I thought about it yesterday. I was like, I should just stop and get the plug just in case we need it. And I was like, no, I'll be able to just like use that as a junction box with wire nuts and I won't have to have like a plug right there. But I don't even have wire nuts big enough to join two pieces of six gauge. So we're going to Home Depot. Look at this, quick, versatile stripping. Don't tell my wife. 
Well, this one's one-handed stripping. <laughs> I probably the need best both kind, of these. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You tell me, Brandon. <laughs> Yeah, depends what you're into, I guess. Oh, why not? Oh, why not? You don't need these. Oh, you know what? It only goes to eight gauge. I need something that can strip six gauge. <laughs> it doesn't freaking exist. Um, anything else that looks cool? There's plenty of stuff that looks cool. Yeah. Do you need it? No. No. Look at these. You have some of those. Milwaukee has a special place in my heart. <laughs> Some of this stuff's really cheap. I might have to get two. <laughs> I don't need them. I think this is the one. Uh, is that a need or a want? This? Yeah. This is what we're here for. Oh, that's finally. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Get out of here. <laughs> How tall do you think you are? Yeah, right. What? What are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's pretty good. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm flat footed. <laughs> That's funny. Excuse me. <laughs> We're out of here. You guys the new neighbors? <laughs> hey, where's the other one's antlers? Did it just drop? It must have, because he had one yesterday. Oh. Yeah, he just lost his antlers. You can see the Oh. You can see the spots in his head. Wow, they're you're cute. I know your vision's not great, but we're friends. Gotta be the mom. I thought you said they were both boys. Or the dad. Oh! <laughs> See, that hurt him. He's mad. Oh, he's. he's about to get weird. Here. Oh, we're trapped here now. <laughs> he's pissed, dude. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, bull moose normally do not hang out together, but we're pretty sure that these are the twins that we saw last year. So they were really young last year, and now they're like, you know, teenage boys hanging out, reaching adolescence maybe. Um, it looks like one of them completely has no antlers. Mm -hmm. So maybe it like just shed or... It's pretty cool. And they've normally, like we don't even see them at this time of year. And I think it's because we've had a really late winter and it hasn't like really started snowing until like that storm of yeah, two like weeks ago. It's been so mild that they've just been hanging out. It's pretty been cool. Here, like all week. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like every day we've seen yeah. them. Yeah. So you guys found some more poop? More poop? Moose poop for Leo? We don't eat it. <laughs> Yucky, right? <laughs> done. Ooh, you're halfway done. Yeah, where have you been? <laughs> ah, that's not good. <sighs> Probably a certain torque setting that's supposed to be on these. If I was an electrician, I would know what it is. But I'm not. Bro, you need some patches on these pants. Is that skin? Mm -hmm. That's skin right there. And your phone. And your phone. <laughs> need new pants. <laughs> Step one, connect the four floor risers. Oh, we're doing it. What do you mean? We're building. Well, we're not getting five guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> All right, Yep. 
Can four people fit in here? There's a four person sauna? I said you have to sit on each other's laps. That's right. Four close friends. <laughs> That's in good. Speedos. In Speedos. <laughs> Pick this on purpose. Well, e. Look at how perfectly it matches up with our flooring. I know, it's like we meant to. <laughs> Unlike the bedroom that's got 50 shades of brown. <laughs> I don't think that's the line. You know you can! <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> this is the most wiggly piece of poop I've ever seen. Hey. It's not done yet. Okay. It's it's Swedish or it's Finnish IKEA. <laughs> yeah. It's an IKEA sauna. Uh, Up higher? That feels pretty good right there. Yeah. Right. Here, I'll hold this, grab that tape, measure up. Huh. Just... That's weird, they just let you pick. Hmm. Alright, give it a test. Is this gonna collapse on me? It could. Uh, don't it could. jiggle don't jiggle side to side for sure. Oh, wow, it does not feel Yeah, stable. there's no roof on it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you fart? What was that laugh? <laughs> it just feels a little scary up here. <laughs> cool. Um, I, I approve. I came up here to test this. Yeah, how is it? <laughs> I approve. Okay, good. That's Brandon's autograph. Asterisk, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> snowflake. Put the metal on the inside. <laughs> making moves here. We've got our brain mounted over here. I'm about to run our power wire into the brain, get it connected. I think I realized that I needed a, a clamp that goes here, so I bought one. And I need one for wire going in and one for wire coming out. Mm. So that's really disappointing. But other than that, uh, we're getting pretty darn close. So I'm gonna connect this wire right now. I'll run some wire in and connect it to our heater, our, uh, our stove. That's gonna go inside. These guys are gonna fill it with some rocks after we get our floor panels all installed. We're making great time. We're definitely not gonna finish this today, but we are making great time. <laughs> Just forgot some hamster shavings. Yeah, I know, I saw that. Turn it up! <laughs> I'm ready to sweat! <laughs> How's the height of the backrest? It seems fine. Good. Pretty pretty. This is beautiful. I'm excited. It's very peaceful in here. <sighs> Never expected us to be doing this right now, but I am into it. What do you think? It's crooked, but it's Yeah, fine. I was gonna say that. 
It was straight when I put it in. Yeah. Now it's crooked. I don't know how that happened. Okay. Cool. All right, I wouldn't say we're at a standstill, but uh, we're trying to figure out how to finish wiring up everything, the temperature sensors, just like all the power, the powered stuff. It's a little bit difficult and the directions are not super specific. They suck. <laughs> <laughs> Trent is trying to look up some videos to troubleshoot online. Any luck? No. Okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so we have everything built. It's like 95% of the way there. We might have to finish up doing all the electrical um, tomorrow, but we're close. We're very, very close. Different instructions over here. For what? And it has all the answers to everything we've been looking for with nice colored photos and it's all in English. <laughs> Good. It was in the folder. It was in the folder. Oh my gosh. At least you found it. It tells me where to plug in the thing. It tells me where to plug in the temperature sensor. It tells me what A1 and A2 do. <laughs> Good. So frustrated. <laughs> I've realized that there's a couple more things I need from Home Depot anyways, so we're gonna make one more trip to Home Depot on a different day get the rest of the parts that we need to make a perfect installation. Then we'll be able to finish it up, wire up the panel, and hopefully be able to sauna by the end of tomorrow. All right, everybody, it is the next day and Ali has actually left. Today is Saturday. We don't normally film on Saturdays, but we are under a little bit of a time crunch because of things that are happening in the next coming weeks. I know, mama left, but she'll be back soon. Allie went to a baby shower for one of her friends and then she has like a girls night thing going on this afternoon. So she's gonna be gone for basically the entire day and I need to run to Home Depot, pick up the remainder of the parts that we didn't get yesterday that I didn't know we needed. To be completely transparent, I assumed that the heater would have the cables that went from the heater to the control unit and then I just had to wire from the panel to the control unit, but this is not the case you have to basically provide all the wiring and do everything from A to Z. So I'm gonna go back and get more conduit and more wire, and then when I get back, Leo and I are going to get everything wired up, and hopefully by this afternoon when Allie gets home, the uh, sauna will be fully functional. Come put your jacket on. Yeah, put the jacket on. Put your hat on. And we've got diaper bag, we've got Leo. Can we put on Leo's boots? Okay, just that first boot, step down. Good job, now this boot. Okay, push down, there we go. Now, Dad, I need some boots. That's big tires. Mm. How big are they? Big. Really big, huh? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And yep, there's Dada's car. Ready to go? All right, where are we? Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. What are we gonna get? What? Electrical stuff. <laughs> yeah, good job.
All right, so per usual here at Home Depot, it's been hard to find exactly what I need and the exact things that I need are either out of stock or they don't carry it for some reason. Um, it would be easier if I could go to like a specialty electrical supply house, but they don't have one close by. It's like over an hour away. There's close plumbing places, but no electrical places. So uh, I'm making do with what I've got. One of the things that's uh, a little bit upsetting, can Dada see this really quick? Can you say hi? <laughs> this is a hundred feet of three-quarter conduit. I need like six feet, but the 25 foot rolls, which is the smallest roll that they sell, completely out of stock. I got uh, the wire that I need. I got some zip ties. I got all of the connections and fittings for the conduit to attach from the heater to the box and make it completely safe and uh, safe for the actual temperatures that the sauna is gonna be. Pretty confident I got all the stuff that I need, so. I think we're going to head out and head back to the house and Lord help us. I do not want to come back here today. So let's get it over with. Oh, higher, higher, higher. There you go. Yeah, you're going to be a good cameraman one day. Today is not that day, unfortunately. Yeah, good job. There you go. Keep going. I think we have all of the supplies. Now I just got to do the work. You ready? Yeah. That's perfect size. All right, now that I've got that hole drilled and I've got the conduit pushed in there, the conduit has a nice tight fit, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, now I just gotta pull the conduit to the right distance so that I can attach it to my fitting that goes right here on the inside of this electrical box. Once I get it clamped onto the conduit, I can start pulling my wires out, running them through the conduit, making sure they're the right length to get to the control unit out there. And then I can hook it all up and then I can start working on the panel. It's a little bit more difficult to do this with Leo uh, talking and picking up tools and touching things he shouldn't be touching, but we're having a good time. It's Father Sunday here at Trenton Alley and we are gonna get this thing wired up by the end of the day. With the help of my sidekick, Leo, today, I finally got the panel completely rewired and finished. I got a 45 amp breaker put in for the sauna, and I got a, uh, a combination breaker to consolidate some with the dryer and then some other outlet circuits in the house. Uh, this is the aftermath, the mess. I got this uh, six by three wire ran down all the way into the panel. I really just have to put the door back on and then relabel where I moved the breakers to and from so that it's uh, marked on the panel so that I know. But I'm very excited because right now, when I flip that breaker, we're gonna be able to figure out if everything we've done is in vain or if uh, the sauna and all the components are gonna work properly. So, here we go. Ah. I don't know how we'll know if it's working. Oh, there are red lights. Oh, that was a weird noise that that just made, but uh, I guess now we wait and we see how hot it gets. I've been uh, feeding Leo some lunch and uh, oh, it smells very different down here and the sauna has been on for a while, probably like an hour. And it's at 172 degrees right now. All right, that's legit. It is extremely hot in here. Will not last very long in here without sweating to death, especially with all these clothes on. But it's working. Everything seems to be working fine. It's not making any weird noises, no weird smells. I think we did it. 
I was anticipating being able to do this all in one day. And I think if I would have had all the materials and all the parts to do it, I would have been able to do it in one day, but we had to make two separate trips to Home Depot. And then, you know, I had to get everything put together. The amount of time that it took me to do this stuff today while also trying to babysit Leo really slowed me down, but <clears throat> I'm glad that it's finally done. Allie's gonna be back tonight. Um, I'll try to film her reaction, seeing the, the sauna and having it on for the first time. Maybe we'll get a little sweat on tonight before we go to bed. Hopefully she likes it. All right, guys, as you guys saw earlier, I finished the entire sauna, got everything wired up. Me and Leo hung out down here and made great time, made quick work of everything. And now Allie is home to check it out. Wow, it looks so good. It looks the same. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hot this time. That's, that's important, that's cool. Oh, you can feel the heat. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wow. You're gonna last about 10 seconds yeah. now before you start sweating to this. <laughs> I need a fan in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh also, gosh. you don't go into the sauna with your clothes fully on. Ooh. Allie's just testing it out right now. And uh, I don't know if anybody is wondering, but there's hot sauna, or there's wet saunas and there's dry saunas, and we're gonna be doing a dry sauna because with wet saunas, you basically like pour water on those hot rocks right there, and it like creates steam in the room and makes it feel hotter, and it's like, it's a fun experience, but then all of that steam makes it out of the sauna and into this room and there's nowhere for it to escape. There's no exhaust fan in here, so we don't want to be doing that, but. It's like Utah, it's dry. It is dry, <laughs> baby. I'm excited, you did so good. Thank you. I love it. I did, I mean, we just put the walls together. It was like a kit that we bought. It's, it's amazing. Not, it's not nearly as cool as like building your own sauna, which, uh, you know, maybe one day we'll do, but for now, we have the benefits of a sauna and it was easy to put together. I love it. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we're going to cut you guys off. If you guys enjoyed today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Cook Unity for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Mm -hmm.